Uh, today's session, we're going to go on looking at 1v1s, and then we're going to have a look at a little bit of overload, so a 2v1 or a 3v2. Also, we're going to do a little warm-up that's going to involve our little dribbling 1v1 situations. What I'd like you to do is half of you on that cone, half of you on that cone. Nice and easy, nice and quickly. Let's go. So Dan's going to show us a little jog in, Dan. Little jog, then a little sidestep. Good. And then the other way, sidestep. Fantastic. And have a little gentle jog back. Make sense? As soon as they hit the first one, the next two can go. It's not a race. Just get your body movements, your little ABCs going. Off we go. Good. So the next two can go. Just get, get used to the little circuit that you're going to do. Fantastic. Oh, Joel, you're on your own. And all we're going to look at now is just a bit of ball manipulation looking after the football. Ready? Off you go. It's not a race. Lots of little touches, different parts of the foot, whatever you want to use. Off you go. As soon as they hit the first one. It's not a race. Good. As soon as they've hit the first one, boys. Make sure you go round the outside, Jack, on the way back, please. The warm-up, we, we looked at ball manipulation and, and the Cova style sort of, of coaching where the, the boys are using all different parts of their feet because it's very important, obviously, with 1v1s and overloads when we're dribbling, it's the ability to beat a player. So if they can use the sole of the foot, the inside, the outside. So we start with that unopposed, so it really helps them get a good feel for the football. OK, you set your little challenge now. This time... You've got to get through there with just using the sole of your feet. Okay, so just using the sole of the foot where our studs are. Can we go forwards? Yeah. Can we go backwards? Yeah. Have I just turned? Can we go sideways? Am I using the sole of my foot still? Okay, and I'm only using the sole of my foot. Ready? Off you go. Just the sole of your foot. Good, Jack. Good, Alf. As soon as they get to the first one, you can go. Just the sole of your foot. And relax. Now, slightly different. Now, on the way back, all we've been doing is dribbling back or driving home looking to go at pace, yeah? yeah. Now, what do you see, obviously, at the end of your yeah. path? No, at the end of your path. Goal, goal, goal. <coughs> Brilliant, some goals. Now, they're also going to be guarded by defenders, not goalkeepers. I know you are a goalkeeper, Jack, but they're going to be defenders. If you win the ball, if you can dribble the ball and keep control of it and dribble outside of the white areas, as soon as you get to three, shout me, and then you can choose two more defenders. Off you go. Any tricks you like, whatever you like. Now you can go, Joe. Well done. Okay, I'm freeze. Good finish. Beating well, good pace. Well done. We had a little 1v1 situation so that the unopposed tricks that they use in different parts of their foot, they could put into action with a 1v1 scenario. Very good for their ABC, so their agility, balance, coordination. They get round, round the cones, and and uh, as you probably see, there's some fantastic little tricks going on from the guys. So that, very impressed with that, and I thought that flowed very, very well.